Hello Year 7. This is the first lesson of the structure and function of body systems uh, entitled Levels of Organisation. You can find information about this lesson on pages 26-27 of the Activate book. By the end of the lesson you should be able to define and give examples of tissues, organs and organ systems and be able to explain the hierarchy order of organisation in multicellular organisms like ourselves. To begin with, uh, I'd like you to watch a short animation from Caboodle. However, uh, there's a glitch with Caboodle, it won't allow me to share it, so I'm going to play it through this video, so it's a video within a video. Pause it at any moment. myself by thinking about the science involved. During a particularly gruesome heart operation last week, I began to wonder, how are our bodies structured? To understand this, we need to define and state examples of tissues, organs and organ systems, and explain the hierarchy of organisation in a multicellular organism. We are multicellular organisms. We are made of many cells, like this heart muscle cell. Cells do not work alone. They are built together in a precise order. Similar cells work together to form a tissue, like this heart muscle tissue. Different tissues work together to form structures called organs. Each organ has a particular function, like the heart, which pumps blood. Different organs work together to form an organ system, like the circulatory system, which transports blood around the body. Our bodies are made up of a number of different organ systems. Each system carries out a different function. So, the cells in our bodies don't work on their own. Similar cells work together to form a tissue. Different tissues work together to form an organ, which carries out a particular function. Finally, different organs work together to form an organ system, which carries out a particular body function. The body has a number of different organ systems, containing different organs. That's why, if you're brave enough to watch those operations on TV, you can see lots of different parts. <sighs> Hope that made sense. Okay, can you put the title in your books or your notes, Levels of Organisation? And I'd like you to start off by drawing this diagram here. It shows the hierarchy, which is basically an order in which the organism, like ourselves, is built up. So we're starting down here with the smallest item, cells, building up to tissues, bigger still organs, bigger still organ systems, and then finally the organism itself. So you will need to pause the video to actually get that. But before you do that, you also need to know specifically what those various levels are. So we said cells, as we discussed in the first year seven topic that we did, are the building blocks of life. So they're the smallest block. Tissues are groups of similar cells working together to perform a job, perform a task. Organs are groups of tissues working together. Organ systems are groups of organs. You heard it mentioned on the video a few moments ago. Um, the circulatory system, the digestive system. We talked about the reproductive system in a recent unit of work. And then finally, you've got the multicellular organism right at the top there. So can you pause the video and make sure that you've got that screen there? Every screen that you see with for your notes on, you must have a copy of. You can print it off if you wish, else you'll have to make a hand copy. OK, pause the video. OK, hopefully you've done that. Um, can you put the title examples of cells, tissues and organs? And again, this is going to have to be in your notes. So what I'd like you to do is this. I'd like to draw up a table with three column headings, cells, tissues and organs. Remembering the org order 
the hierarchy here, small going to large here. Can you categorize each of these as either a cell, a tissue, or an organ? Okay, so again, you need to pause the video, draw yourself up a table, put each of these into one of these columns. Pause the video now. Okay, hopefully you didn't find that too difficult. Uh, the cells, um, again, you should remember that from our first topic. We've got blood cells in there, root hair cells, and nerve cells, and finally sperm cells. Tissues, bone tissue, and muscle tissue, and then finally the organs, the heart, the lungs, and of course the brain. Please correct them if you've got any of those wrong. Make sure you've got that table in your books. Okay, so you should now be able to recall that tissues are made up of similar cells. Organs are made up of tissue and that an organ system is made up of organs. You should be able to give examples of tissues, organs and organ systems. You should be able to explain how tissues, organs and organ systems come together to form a multicellular organism like our cells. There'll be a little starter exercise at the beginning of the next lesson to make sure you've got that.